And have I got a treat for you. Master of Orion 2. A virtual reality game where you get to blast aliens, like Grob, only less ugly, out of existence! God blast you! A twist to the left, and a turn to the right. A little bit more here. Good! Eureka! I'm... Damn it! Grub, I have some exciting news! I fixed the space bus! We can go home! Grub, you listening to me? Grub, have you been eating chocolate again? Grub! Grub! See the planet turn into a fireball! And hear those alien scum die screaming! Grub got better game! Cold journey to center of sun. <laughs> Philip, try. Get big surprise. Well, never let it be said that I'm a bad sport. Okay. Hang on. Watch the hair. Watch the hair. I've got it. Ready to go for a ride? <laughs> Whoa. Hey, look at this. What you see? Uh, I'm, I'm in a spaceship and I'm heading, heading towards the center of the sun. And, hey, it's getting bigger and brighter. Hey, it's even getting hotter, too. How do you do this? Fire booster rocket! Ow, ow, ow! That was the most irresponsible thing I have ever seen. And on live television and on a children's show. That would be considered the height of fashion on Craft on Five. The, the bushfire look sure to set the world on fire. Mom, this is no joking matter. That haircut cost me a fortune. What have you got to say for yourself, Grob? He's sorry. I'm not sorry. They're so dumb. I beg your pardon. He didn't mean that. He's having a negative balance day. Grub did, and I dumb too. Dumb, dumb, dumb. That's it. You're fired. Grub quit. Get out. Grub. Oh, Grub, come back here. Oh, no. Actors and rubber suits are a dime a dozen. Diabelli. What? Grub balls. Oh, yes, Grob is very good at sport, isn't he? Just let me talk to Di. I'll tell her you were sick or something. Oh, oh, Grob. Grob not sick. You can't tell the producer that she's dumb. Well, she is. That's beside the point. All you have to do is apologize. No! What are you trying to do? Ruin it for all of us? Don't shout at him. I'm not shouting. Leave him alone. He's got the back day blacks. Come on, Grob. Grob 
doesn't want to do the show anymore, he doesn't have to. Besides, Mum will give him a job as a, a sports trainer. Don't be an idiot. This is serious. You don't care about Grob, do you? You're just in this for the money. You're worried about losing your manager's commission. Oh, so if I don't care, how come I'm making this vat day picnic for him? What's a vat day? Oh, I don't know. Look, are you coming or not? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I love to see you crawl. Not G-R-U-B, G-R-O-B, Grob. <laughs> yes, yes. Oh, he is a natural sportsman, isn't he? Yes, but considering all offers, a talent like his does not come cheaply. <laughs> Thank you. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Ciao. Oh, this could be huge. Four football teams, two basketball managers all want Grob to be their mascot. The sponsorship, the endorsements. I can feel the money rolling in. But, Mum, didn't you just fire him? Oh, well, don't just sit there. Go and find him. Tell him, tell him I was joking. But what about my hair? I look like an idiot. Oh, for goodness sake, go to the wardrobe department, get another wig, then find Grob. Tell him we love him. He's like a second son to me. He won't talk. His emotional linkage is in overload. Wow. Grub, I've, I've bought your favourite. Chicken and toothpaste sandwiches. Grub? Oh, what's the matter? We'll do anything. Excuse me. Tomorrow's his back day. What is a back day? Yeah. I have an announcement. Grub wants to go home. And I want to go home too. Hello. <gasps> your attention, please. Sorry, had to get your attention. Now, will you all please look at the view screen? Oh, what's that? Wormhole. The doorway to our home galaxy! Why are you showing us? We can't get to it! The ship's engines are broken! Not anymore. <gasps> Grumpy has a bad day! Yes, no! I'm going home! We're going home! We're going home! We're going home! We're going home! But you can't! <laughs> What about the show? Lucy? Uh, I mean, uh, you're our friends. We'll miss you. Come with us. We can't just hurtle off into space. Why not? You're my best friend, Lucy. We've visited your planet. Now you visit ours. You mean Grub's mummies? Come to big vet day party. <laughs> I'll teach you how to speak even. <laughs> oh, my planet is so beautiful. No. Thank you, Lucy. Prepare for takeoff, students. This is the opportunity of your lifetime. We, we can visit other worlds and see new beings and go boldly when no green has ever gone before. Funny, you can't. I'd never forgive myself if I didn't. But what about Mum and Dad? Uh, permission to go and say goodbye to my parents, Quiggle? Permission denied. There is not a nano to spare. If the wormhole closes over, we may have to wait years for another. You're doing this. You're a nerd. A stupid nerd. Loose. Lucy! Wait! Please try and understand. All those nights of staring through my telescopes and wondering what's out there, now I finally know. But what if you can't get back? I can have my computer. Promise. Yeah, I'm sorry about bossing you around all the time. Forget it. No, it was horrible. Yeah, you're right. But I forgive you. What am I? What am I going to do without you? I'm going to find someone else to boss around. Rodney, don't, don't go. You see, you don't need me. You're clever and and just strong, and brave. <laughs> What do you want me to tell Mum and Dad? They'll freak. Ah! 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 Ah!
going home! <laughs> Will you sit down? You too, Rodney. No! Rodney, sit with Grom! Come here! Galactic Space Bus regulations require that all students be seated before liftoff. Prepare for tentacle encirclement, Rodney. All right, kids, are you ready to rock and roll? Just a little phrase I picked up from the TV. <laughs> Lift off in ten, nine, eight. <laughs> Grub, I know that was you. Do it again and I'll put you into suspended animation! Don't even think about it, Rodney. Lift off in five, four, tighten all internal muscles for lift off! Two, one! For further details of the trial, we cross live to our court reporter, Michael Roberts. Well, thanks, Mel. Who seems to be caught in a snowstorm. Back to our first story. The twin pandas who were born yesterday are also caught in the snow. <laughs> well, it's been a great year for snow, hasn't it? Yes, I got that. Speaking of snow, let's go to weather. <laughs> What happened? The Transgalactic's been turbulent act across the spatial gravitron. Oh. What? The engines blew up. Uh. Can I still have your computer? In your dreams. Oh, me, Brian. I'm so sorry. Oh, thank you, Lucy. But it's Grob you should feel sorry for. Yeah, Grob is that day! Grob is <laughs> it celebrates the day he came out of the vat when his 13 mummies lifted him out, all covered in black slime. Rob, Rob, I've got an idea. We can have a, a vat day party at our house. <laughs> no, I'll, I'll fix it with Mum and Dad. But, but we have to call it a birthday party, otherwise they might suspect you're aliens. Oh, Grandma, birthday party! Grandma, birthday party! <laughs> What's your birthday? Mum, Mum, Grob and Meva are real aliens. Grob was born in some kind of big vat with all his mothers stirring it like witches or something. Yuck. Where is Grob? And now they're going to have some big, weird alien birthday party. Philip, I have got every sporting body in the entire country desperate for Grob to be their mascot. Will you go and find him like I asked you Mom. to? Mum! And get rid of that silly wig. You're the one that looks like an alien. <gasps> Good afternoon. Grob Management Services. How can I help you? Oh, hello. Fabulous to hear your voice. Yes, I think there's a couple of things... <laughs> no way! I told you so. But Mum, Grob's got no one else. I don't care. Those comedians, every time they come here, something awful happens. They're a disaster. Did you see the news? There was a glitch or a power surge or something. All the videotapes got wiped. What time was this? Malcolm at 5.15. He almost had a fit. Yeah. You think that someone that earns as much as he does would be able to improvise? Dad, mm -hmm. if Ronnie was to go to away to another place and he didn't know anyone, Lucy, what are you doing? and it was his birthday, wouldn't you hope that they would throw a party for him? I suppose so. Well, Grub's an orphan and we want to give him a party. And I said no. But you're the one who's always saying that we should help those less fortunate. He does have a point. You are always going on about man's inhumanity to man. Yeah, what? so what about women's inhumanity to aliens? What's neat? All right, all right. But if one thing gets broken, it's coming out of your pocket money. No, no, go, go, go. When Mum brings the cake out, you've got to blow the candles out, not suck. Like this. Right. Oh, I see. They... <laughs> She was on Urgle with his 13 mummies. Grob, look, you can't talk about Urgle or your 13 mummies. Why? Because 
Mum and Dad, they'll think it's weird. Humans only have one mother and one father. Then how do humans make babies? Well, they get together and then they, um... Um... Ronnie, he'll explain it for you. <laughs> oh. Oh, oh. Here we go. Okay. <clears throat> well, okay. There's a, a sperm from the father mm -hmm. and, and an egg from the mother. Sperm goes along and fertilizes the egg and makes a baby. Yeah. How primitive. So how are you born? I'm not born. Ebers are grown from brain cells implanted into the luscious fruit of the egg tree. When the moon is silver, the fruit bursts open and we emerge from our chrysalis perfect in every way. Where human babies grow? In in their mummy's tummies. Oh, yeah, girl! Oh, how sweet. It's disgusting, but sweet. Um, well, how do babies get inside human mummy tummy? I think we'll, um, we'll leave that one for later. <laughs> later, that's good. We're right. Oh, yeah, he's a jolly good fair. He's a jolly good fair. He's a jolly good fair. song for Grom. Blow? Oh, oh, ah. We heard that you like pets, so we got you one. Ah, Grom love pets. Oh, wow. Oh, no. It's a trick. They're practicing for the show. It's called an ergling gurgling. your family, so we want you to feel like you're a part of ours, okay? Aww, so mummy oh. nice! <laughs> what? You got baby in tummy? Oh. Is it uh, ready, oh, 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 no! <laughs> it's time for your surprise! <gasps> surprise? Oh, yeah. Clown. He thinks it's an ergle munch. Grub. Huh. Grub. It's me, Rodney. Oh, you know it? Ergle munch gone? Yeah, it was me all along. <laughs> Rodney! <laughs> What's an ergle munch? It's a monster from his home planet, and they like to. <laughs> all the time! You play trick on me. <laughs> I'll have the contract sent over this afternoon. Mum, look at this. Shh. <gasps> Philip! Whom I was just speaking on the telephone? I'm setting up our life for the. Watch. Silver. The fruit bursts open and we emerge from our chrysalis perfect in every way. Where, Where human babies, babies grow? In, in their mummy's tummies. Oh, that's How sweet. Disgusting. disgusting, but sweet. Philip will spy on us with a video camera. He's probably showing Dye the tape right now. In five minutes, the stage will be swarming with reporters, scientists, and X Files fans. Quig will start the engines. But what's the point? Oh, come on, please just do it. All right then, Rodney. 
Watch this bit. Look how he blows out the candles. You interrupted my negotiation to show me a party? Wait, wait, wait. Grob eats a pizza box and then Lucy admits that he's an alien. Oh. Is that it? They did this. I know they did. Get your silly tape. Where is Grob? I don't know. Can't I trust you to do anything? I suppose I'll have to look for him myself. Fine. Then you can ask him what a vac day is. Vac day. a new act for the show, an alien birthday party. We're pretending Grob was born in a vat. Yeah, we tried it out on our parents. They thought it was pretty funny. But I thought you said he was an alien. He is an alien. Uh -huh. The funniest alien on TV. <laughs> <laughs> what are you wearing? Vat day present. Whoa. Get it off. Get it off immediately. It's a yeah. saint's jumper. I'm right. just going to deal with the demons. You're their new mascot. You have to wear their jumper. No! Um, uh, Grob doesn't work for you anymore, remember? Oh, you mean that little misunderstanding? <laughs> <laughs> oh, we all say things in the heat of the moment, don't we? <laughs> Grob, Grob, darling, what can I do to make you happy? You're, you're like a second son to me. Diane Phillips, say sorry to Grob. Oh, of course. Um, <clears throat> I, I feel terribly, deeply, profoundly sorry. Yeah. Philip? I'm not saying sorry. I didn't do anything. He burnt my hair. Philip, just be a good sport, darling. Think of the money. Do it! I'm sorry. Yeah! Philip, good sport! Well, I was working on my autobiography and I left the dying ah! too long. Now Philip look like alien! Ah! Mum, tell them to leave me alone. Philip, come with me. We are going to the hairdressers. <laughs> now, come back to your house for Grob Vat Day Party. No, Grob, the party's over. No, Vat Day Party go for Urgle Doc. What's an Urgle Doc? About an Earth month. Ha <laughs> ha! Fudge up to Jolly Good Earth!